Hey, hello. I want to plead that you watch this video till the end. If you don't watch till the end, you will misunderstand what I am talking about in this video. Thank you and God bless you. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the End Time Truth Television channel. We urge you to subscribe to the channel, activate the bell icon by selecting all so that the next time we upload a new video, you will be among the first persons to be notified by Google. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Till then, Shalom. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. God bless you. In this short video, I just want to talk about the power of forgiveness. That is a young woman you will see in this video. And I tell you something, if you have conscience, um, which I know you have, you are a child of God. Um, if you if you watch the video with concentration, you will shed a tear or two. Um, I, will not, I will not divulge what is in the video now, but I will let you watch the video. And after watching the video, um, the video is self-explained. Um, if you, if you, if after watching this video and you still find it difficult to forgive that person that has offended you so much, um, that means you need special prayers. You know, your case is a different case. For I tell you that when you forgive, you are setting yourself free. You are losing yourself from, you know, certain bondage, and um, you are just, you are just reinventing yourself and you reinventing your life again. When you forgive, you operate on a level of freedom that is unrivaled, on a level of freedom that cannot be paralleled. You know, on a level of freedom that cannot be matched because, you know, someone like me, when I when I feel offended by somebody and I have not made peace with the person. Now I become a slave to the person. So instead of that slavery, what is there? Let's go, you know, it doesn't matter how much this person has offended you. Now the truth is that when you forgive, you are doing yourself a favor. I will come back after the video. Let's watch the video. God bless you. Thank you very much.
know your baby was. I had to have the baby, and then I couldn't take care of the baby. I know, I know. And you did the right thing. I think that was very brave what you did. And I just want you to know that you're really pretty. Can you? I want you to know that. Thank you. Um. I want you to know that um, I'm not just the person who has been bringing you water and food and money. You're nice. You're a very nice lady. You're a very nice lady. Thank you. Um, I want you to know that um, I am actually your daughter. No, you're not. daughter <laughs> you're so pretty will you let me take care of you yeah thank you yeah you want some food uh, sure there you go. let's get you out of here okay I have a few scraps left here. I think I can treat you to a meal how's that okay thank you So um, having watched this video, I wouldn't know the background of that lady. I wouldn't know who she is, how she was brought up. Was she brought up in a Christian home where forgiveness was taught? Because I know several people, I know several people, at least few people who shared this same story, but they find it difficult to forgive their parents. You know, of um, notable among them, used to be um, Mario Balotelli. You know, Mario Balotelli, that name, that surname, even the name is Italian. Now, but you know, maybe you don't know that Mario actually was not an Italian by birth. He was a Ghanaian. And at a very little age, some complications arose and he was given up for adoption. And the Balotelli family took him up and gave him a life. And eventually when he became who he had become, you know, in life. Now, what happened was that the same mother of his, who um, at that early age in his, in his life, now gave him over, gave him over for adoption, gave him up for, gave him up for adoption. The family, you know, gave him up for adoption. Now, the same mother, you know, sought a way of trying to reconcile with this young man. And it was very, very you know, difficult for Balotelli to accept that, uh, you know, gesture from the mother and to the extent that when he was, um, when he got to Manchester City in London, in England, the mother also followed, followed him. And as the story had it, she also, you know, rented an apartment that was close to Balotelli's apartment in order to seek and to obtain the forgiveness of this son of his estranged, I would say, and the grouse of Balotelli was if the Balotelli family had not given him the life that he has today, where would she have found the superstar that he, she wanted to call a son? But eventually, I think they, they settled it and he was able to forgive the mother. Now, there are several of them. Um, a certain Marcel de Saili, you know, he was also a Ghanaian, you know, he was born in Ghana as the story had it, but the father abandoned them and all that and uh, you know the man came they decided the Frenchman that you know uh, gave him his name that came for an engineering work so the story I read you know about him um, met the mother married the mother and took them to France and then the guy grew up there now, there are so many of these stories even in Nigeria here if you know of a certain Celeste Babayaro that played for Chelsea Football Club and also Newcastle in England it was you know um, they have from a decent, I mean, a different uh, descent in Nigeria. Actually, they are from my tribe. But if you see how the name sounds, Celestine Babayaro, Emmanuel Babayaro, and I think Sunday Babayaro. Now, Babayaro is an Alsa name, but these guys came from the Igbo land. Now, what happened was that during the riots of that time, I think, at 80 or 83, you know, riots, uh, the thing became too hot that their father ran and left them in the middle of nowhere so this man that they adopted them as his kids that gathered so many of them babayaro actually means father of children 
So he gathered so many of them and took care of them and became their father. So they adopted his name. Now these things have happened and uh, it took also intervention of people for for um, these brothers to, for, to come together and agree to forgive their father. You know, so the truth, what I'm saying here is that the gesture of this young lady, she understood ahead of time that it was better that the mother gave her up for adoption instead of killing her like some persons would do, instead of aborting her like some persons would do, instead of, you know, throwing her away in the dustbin like some persons would do. Though somebody would have asked, why not persevere? Why not, you know, you know, try a little bit to be there for the child? But then, you know, there is there are positives in this negativity that you know um that the whole thing uh, brought about but my joy is that this young lady was able to forgive this woman and she has indeed become a life to this mother that suddenly became homeless and you can imagine that if since that time till now and suddenly she is still in the street now nobody knows what what happened, what was the problem, the reasons why she could not or she believed she wouldn't be able to take care of that girl and eventually gave her up for adoption. She was still in the street. Even after the, the you know, that child had grown up and became an adult. So there are several lessons to learn here. Forgiveness is very, very important. The truth is that if you don't forgive, now your prayers are hindered. If you don't forgive, God will not forgive you because that is just the truth. So you are, uh, as a Christian that you are, you are enjoined to forgive, you know, others, even as our Heavenly Father forgives our trespasses as well. Because when the Lord was teaching his disciples to pray, he said part of the things that they will pray when they are praying is, Forgive us our trespasses, even as we forgive those that trespassed against us. And Jesus was asked, how many times would a believer forgive? And in a day, Jesus said, 70 times 7. And they said, 7 times. He said, I did not say to you 7 times, but I said to you 70 times 7. And that is 490 times. And I want to believe that even Satan, even in your the whole of your lifetime, lifetime, I don't think that Satan will even offend you 490 times. And, you know, even if he is able, you're able to prove it, that means you're writing it down. So, I, at that, I don't know any human being that can offend you in all of the days of your life 490 times up to that. You know, but Jesus said, even in one day, if anybody offends you 490 times, forgive the person 490 times. So I bring this message to you. Somebody may be here who is finding it difficult actually to forgive. Please, this message is for you. Try as much as you can to forgive that offense. That might be the reason why you are where you are now. That might be the reason why it's like your question, your prayers are not being answered. That might be the reason why you are in that sickness. That might be the reason why Satan had an access to attack you and you know and was able to get you because you have not been able to cultivate the basics of the word of God. And forgiveness is essential, is paramount, is one of the fundamentals of the gospels of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, my dear, whatever it is, all I want to ask you is please try as much as you can to forgive and you forgive the lord in his infinite mercy will extend mercy unto you thank you and god bless you keep living keep forgiving keep believing and keep trusting in jesus till i come your way in the next video kindly like the video share the video and put down your comment in the comment section don't forget to like and uh, subscribe to my sister channel the end is nearer television and i will be seeing you in the next video shortly till then from me to you shalom